Hey guys, what's going on? OG Nick here bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, we have got a 1.4 Hunter's Faith support slash DPS build. Um, Hunter's Faith has surprisingly become one of those builds where if used in the right hand, it can be extremely strong in terms of ties and the battle and PvP. Um, as far as PvE, I don't find it as strong for the simple fact that NPCs do will be hitting hard regardless. Um, I do think that's a, a little too easy, but they still will be hitting hard against some players. Um, so I find it useful, but not that useful. But when it comes to um, the PvP side, that's where you're going to see uh, big changes in how people play and big changes on how this set is used besides the big three piece bonus that it does give. Um, so let's get right into it. If you guys don't know what they've done to Hunter's Faith, Hunter's Faith has a two piece of optimal range, which is good because the further back you are, the more armor you'll get. Three piece is extremely strong, one of the best three pieces in the game, uh, with 20% headshot damage. So it's definitely gonna help you uh, pump out the extra damage. And there's a reason why I am not using reckless chest piece, which I'll get to later. Um, and the four piece, uh, basically every shot, every bullet you hit will give temporary armor protection to your squad team. Um, and uh, every time you're hit by a single bullet, they lose it. So um, that is exactly why I'm using an LMG because you get a ton of ammo and you got consistent damage and consistent accuracy. So you're gonna be able to hit your shots longer ranges than say with an assault rifle. Uh, I do have a Scar H um, just for higher, higher damage. Like say we're um, there's NPCs, I'll whip this out, take them down real quick. This is extremely strong, it's such a brutal deadly. Um, you know, so I do use that sometimes, but a lot of times I'll be using LMG. And this LMG does do good against um, players. Like this is shred players for the most part. Uh, with 18% uh, extra damage against targets, plus 20% extra headshot damage. We got brutal, destructive, deadly. We got all these crit damages. I got a rate of fire mod on it. And I also have a reload speed on it with some more optimal range on it. So I've got all these things added on to it to make this LMG super strong. So I've increased the rate of fire and real speed because well it's an LMG it needs a little bit of both. Um, so these are the weapons that I tend to use with Hunter's Faith. I like to use these because honestly SMGs don't work. I guess you can have an extremely strong SMG like this but with the range and the damage it, from far away it's just not going to be viable. Um, LMGs can pump out really good damage far away and of course Martian Rifles pump out a shit ton of damage far away. So that's why I've gone with those choices and weapons. Um, also, guys, just a quick sneak peek to my next build video, my next Alpha Bridge build video. Um, I'm be using this vector, which drops with brutal deadly responsive in the underground, with this police K A1 P821, which drops with um, self preserve responsive competent. And what I'm going to be doing is getting rid of responsive for deadly, getting rid of deadly for fierce. So I have brutal deadly fierce. Uh, self preserved, deadly, did I say that? I think so. <laughs> and incompetent, but you get the gist. Um, so that is going to be absolutely insane. I don't really care for the vector in terms of its accuracy, but the MP7, uh, it, compared to my MP7 with self preserved, little deadly, it has about a 2k drop off in the straight raw damage and with uh, competent, and it has fierce as well. It's just, it, this vector is going to destroy people. So I'm going to be doing that video too. But let's get back into my gear for Hunter's Faith. So with the gloves, we have got Savage Gloves, 930 roll on the stamina, um, critical hit chance, LMG damage, critical hit damage. Uh, it dropped as marksman rifle damage. The reason I re-rolled the marksman rifle damage instead of uh, either keeping that and going for a higher stamina roll, it was because honestly, the marksman rifle damage is nice, but it's not necessary. The extra 3k damage, you're not gonna notice that hugely. Uh, but that 1k extra LMG damage, I feel like you're going to know it's a little bit more often. And it's going to be the gun I'm going to be using more often. So um, that's why I went with that choice. Um, now, if you want to go with a glass cannon build, I know I'm kind of, uh, like, I know some people like those builds. You can go with another Sav Gloves, um, like something like this, and go for about 6k firearms and go straight glass. Um, but for me, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be more of a support role. 
so I want to be able to stay alive as long as possible and still be, be a lot of really good damage with 5 stick firearms. Uh, the holster, I have got 964, 983, 1001, and 637 armor. Um, I believe I rolled the armor onto it. Um, it dropped with my protection and release, I think. So I rerolled that. Decent rolls on it, can't complain, you know. Could have been a lot worse. Um, and also, guys, for the stuff I use, I'm using uh, first aid self heal on this one. Um, I think I might change that actually. Uh, on the knee pads, we have got a 1112 roll on the stamina, uh, 1038 armor, bleed resist, burn resist, and increased kill XP, which is actually really nice now that you get caches. So those are sick. <laughs> well, decent roll. I, I've been trying to roll for more armor for about at least you know, 1500, 1200. Um, not 1500, uh, 1150 or 1200. I uh, haven't gotten the roll yet, so I'm probably not going to spend as many credits on that. But decent. Um, I've got a stamina armor mod and first aid ally heal. Um, my mask, uh, I've been trying to, I was thinking about putting crit chance on here. Um, but I decided to go with skill power to make my heal better for uh, my team. Uh, so that's kind of the choice I'm going with. I might change it in the future. 992 firearm roll, 7500 skill power, increased kill XP, turret duration this is a 1.3 version. Um, looking for a 1.4, but I haven't gotten one yet. So uh, the mod on that is an armor roll, not very good. Um, definitely need to get a better one than that. Uh, my bag, I have got 1163 firearm, 826 armor, ammo capacity, which is nice. First aid self heal and sticky bomb damage. Um, again, 1.3 version. Uh, good roll though, very good roll. Um, very strong, I think. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna like this one, definitely. Um, and I have a 204, 248 armor, which you guys can buy in DZ05 currently for this week. It's in DZ05. They're selling 204 fire armor mods with 244 armor, 248 armor, which is really nice. So, if you don't have any, go pick a couple up to about 100k a piece. So if we have the credits, I definitely would. Now, the biggest choice I made in this build, because I, I had my conscious choice to not use a reckless test piece. I did think about it because, yeah, I could have done it, but my issue with it is for the simple fact that I'm, I don't want to have that incoming 10% damage because of the fact I'm trying to be out there as long as possible and to help my team in a support DPS role. I already have 5,000 firearms. Like, I'm already dealing out the good damage for the most part. You know, like, I'll be hitting hard. I don't feel like Reckless Chest Piece can, will work well with this, because that's not my goal. My goal is to hit pretty hard, but to help my team get armor so they can survive longer in good fights. So I went with a Vigorous Chest Piece, which is allowing me to perhaps um, run Booster Shot, which I do run, to help my squad take less, even more or less damage and deal more. And then more times than not, I like to use support station with immunizer because a lot of times we're now we're fighting fire crises, uh, shot grenades, shot turrets, all these other new things, secret mines as well. That an immunizer is a very good choice now. And if you're running a vigorous chest piece, you will get overheal from a support station. So that is extremely strong. So a lot of times I will run both of these and be a very supporting role while being a high damage guy. Uh, the roll on my vigorous chest piece. Um, 1200 armor, but it's kind of inflated because uh, I got this again. And here I got a, another armor for stamina. And then I got uh, 5300 health, uh, 1100 armor, and a little bit more increased kill XP. So, guys, uh, this is the build. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, this is my first go at a 100 space build. And honestly, this is very strong for me. I could have gone for more skill power, but decided to, to wait with that. And uh, I could definitely make a more skill power oriented build. Uh, I might work on that in the future. Anyways guys, next build video will be Alpha Bridge, but I'll let you know when that comes out. Uh, another build after that, I am not sure. So, anyways guys, I'm the Real Genic, and I'm out.